हेलो 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 स्टूडेंट लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ और यूनिट नंबर थ्री ओके विच वी आर डिस्कस फ्रॉम द लास्ट लेक्चर फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड द डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द लैंग्वेज ट्रांसलेटर एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द लैंग्वेज ट्रांसलेटर दर ऑल द पॉइंट्स विथ एग्जाम्पल लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल्सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द pages of compiler and we have started the discussion on the first phase of compiler that is the lexical analyzer now today also uh, we will continue with the same and we will see the more details in case of the first phase of compiler that is our lexical analyzer so today our main focus will be on the what is the role of regular expression and the finite automata in the first phase of compiler that is the lexical analyzer okay so in the previous lecture only we have seen what exactly mean by the phases of compiler so in the different way i have told you what do we mean by the phases so phases can be the uh, different uh, sub stages or the stages uh, while processing the your source program or it can be considered as a sub process while processing your whole source program by the compiler and it can be also described phases is nothing but the logically interrelated operation that uh, transform your source program from one representation into the another representation so these are the different ways of describing the phases so in the simple way you can keep in mind the phases is nothing but the different stages in the processing of your source program from original source program into the machine program so what are the what are whatever be the different stages in between the converging converting your source program into the machine program the different stages being considered as a phases or it can be also considered as a sub process also so mainly there are the two phases uh, while you convert your source program into the machine program with the help of the compiler that is considered as a compilation mainly two phases are there that last time i told you analysis phase and the synthesis phase and in the as this uh, uh, block diagram also last time i explain you what exactly the compiler does compiler take your source program and convert your source program into the target program so your source program is considered as a high level language program like c c++ java pascal etc and your target program is nothing but your machine language program okay so your machine language program can be considered as your assembly language or it can be in the form of the binary language okay and uh, as uh, last time also we have discussed uh, the scenario or the block diagram for the lexical analyzer so this is your lexical analyzer as a first phase of compiler which take the source program as a input okay and it generate the tokens as last time we have discussed the role of the lexical analyzer is nothing but the generation of the tokens now lexical analyzer generate the tokens when the parser asks the lexical analyzer for the tokens then the lexical analyzer generate the tokens and send it to the parser parser is also called as a syntax analyzer last time also i told you role of the syntax analyzer is nothing but what to check the syntax of your programming statements so here also i have mentioned the lexical analyzer read the input source program scan the character and produce the sequence of tokens that parser utilize in the uh, utilize it in the syntax analysis phase or that tokens are being utilized in the utilized by the parser Uh, in the syntax analysis phase and parser check whether the that sequence of tokens which are forming the string or statements whether it is syntactically correct or not that is the role of our second phase that in detail next time we'll see now this already we have discussed now this is the our main block diagram last time also i told you regarding the phases of compiler where you can see each particular phase take the input in some one particular form and represent the input in another form so in case of our first phase lexical analyzer take the input for in the form of the source program 
and it generated the output lexical analyzer generated the output as a tokens output of the lexical analyzer is the tokens and lexical analyzer give that tokens as a input to the next phase of compiler that is the syntax analyzer in detail this part last time all we have studied so this is the general scenario the same point you can see here the lexical uh, analyzer first phase second phase parser or it is also called as <laughs> syntax analyzer also so when the syntax analyzer ask for the tokens request for the tokens lexical analyzer read the source program and generate the tokens and send it to the parser okay during this process there might be the number of errors also come so that error is also handled by each particular phase of the compiler okay last time we have seen regarding the first phase of compiler lexical errors get generated and what are that lexical error that last time already i told you now in simple words again i have mentioned the main task of lexical analysis is to read the input character by character and produce the tokens okay so what is what is mean by the token that also last time we have seen tokens indicate the class or category of lexeme lexeme is what lexeme is nothing but the sequence of character that matches with some pattern and pattern also i have told you with example pattern is nothing but the some rules which is describing that particular set of string okay now lexical analyzer scan the entire source code of the program and it identify whether the things which is present in that source program sequence of character which is present in that source program whether they are forming the tokens or not so another name for the lexical analyzer is a scanner okay so scanner usually used to produce the tokens so as a lexical analyzer usually used to produce the tokens only when only when it is requested by the parser so that scenario last time all day i told you first the parser request for the tokens to the lexical analyzer then the lexical analyzer scan the input and recognize the tokens from the source program and then lexical analyzer send the token to the parser okay this scenario in details last time we have discussed now in that role of lexical analyzer also we have discussed so first main role of the lexical analyzer to identify the tokens then remove the white spaces as the comments from the source program find out the errors from your source program and this is being done by reading your input characters from the source program so these are all the functionalities performed by the lexical analyzer so during the process of lexical analysis different kind of errors can be get generated that i told you so during the phase of lexical analysis different kind of error generated in that three errors you can see here first is the spelling errors then exceeding the length of the identifier appearance of the illegal characters so this with example last time we have discussed so what do we mean by the lexical errors so lexical error is nothing but the sequence of character that does not match with the pattern of any token if some sequence of character present in your source program and if that sequence of character doesn't match with the pattern pattern in the sense if it doesn't match with some standard rules okay which is being already described while compiler is getting designed if your set of characters present in your source program doesn't match with your standard rules that is the pattern then there is a no formation there is a there is a no formation of the tokens tokens are not get produced tokens are not get generated and if the tokens are not get generated it means there is a lexical errors so there can be a different lexical error find uh, get encounter during the lexical analysis these are the some common errors i have mentioned here okay so in the example also you can see suppose as i said uh, exceeding the length of the identifier okay there is some standard limit on the length of the identifier so when you are mentioning the identifier or variable in your source program and if that identifier or variable exceed that standard limit of length then there can be also considered as a lexical error if while describing the variables in your source program if you utilize some illegal characters now while initially while describing or declaring the variable in any higher level language you cannot utilize the dollar sign so this is considered as a illegal character this is also the kind of lexical error now while mentioning some keywords if you write the spelling incorrectly now print if if you write the spelling of print if like this okay p r p i r n t f then this is also considered as one of the lexical errors okay 
So this is a, these are the different errors get find out when the lexical analyzer does the processing on your source program. Okay. Now also three terms we have discussed last time, which is required in case of the lexical analysis that are nothing but the lexeme pattern and the tokens. So with example last time already I told you lexeme is nothing but the suppose uh, we have taken the example last time uh, like position equal to position equal to initial okay position equal to initial uh, and plus 60 into something that example we have taken now in this example this position is considered as a what is this position is considered as also one lexeme this is assignment character is also considered as one lexeme initial is also one lexeme this exam this you can refer the previous lecture for this example and uh, accordingly these terms we have discussed lexeme is nothing but the sequence of character that matching the pattern so accordingly uh, your whole source program uh, consist of the different kind of lexemes. Okay. Now, what is mean by the pattern? Pattern is nothing but the rule that describe that set or that describe some sequence of character. Now, pattern or rule for the uh, variable or the identifier in case of our C language is nothing but what your variable or the identifier must be start with letter and then afterwards it can be followed by the letter or digit. So, this is nothing but the pattern or the rules for describing the variable or the identifier. Now, if in your source program, whatever the sequence of character you have written, whatever string is present, if it is matching with the pattern, then you can say it is forming the token. So here tokens, what is mean by the token we have written? It is a set of string over the source of alphabet, which is nothing but class or category of lexeme. Now, what are the tokens in, what can be the tokens in your source program? Different kind of identifiers, numbers, or the constant different kind of operators keyword these different things can be in tokens which is there in your source program okay now main part that we have to focus today is nothing but what is the role of regular expression in the lexical analysis and also what is the role of finite automata uh, during the lexical analysis okay now before we uh, go to the what is the role of finite automata? First, we understand what exactly is the regular expression is. Now, in the uh, theory of computation, also you must have studied what is the concept of regular expression. So, uh, whatever the language we utilize, like C, C, Java, these are the considered as the formal languages or the regular languages. Now, in order to uh, describe these regular languages, which is also referred as a formal languages, we have to utilize some notation, okay? And that notation is called as a regular expression. So here I have mentioned regular expression is notation, which is used to represent the regular language. It means what the regular expression is something which is used to describe your regular languages. Now, what do you mean by the regular languages then? So here I have mentioned the regular language is nothing but the set of string, which are made up of character, from specified alphabets or from set of symbols. Now, if you see the how the particular general language form, so language is generally consist of the sequence of sentences, then sequence of sentences consist of the sequence of words. Words are consist of the sequence of alphabets or the symbols like this. Okay, so same is the regular language which consists of the set of string and this set of string are formed with the help of the sequence of characters and how this sequence of characters form, the sequence of characters form from the some specified alphabet or the symbols. Okay. So according to this, we can describe the regular expression as a sequence of symbols and characters or operators, etc., expressing string or pattern to be searched within a longer piece of text. Now, in case of our lexical analysis, in case of our lexical analysis, uh, we have seen uh, when you uh, we have to match 
we have to see whether the sequence of character that you have written in your source program that sequence of characters are according to the some patterns or whether that sequence of characters are according to the some rules or not okay now in order to check that we utilize the pattern or the rules now how these rules or the pattern can be described okay how these rules or the pattern can be described now in order to describe these patterns and the rules we have to utilize the regular expression okay that in the next section we will see here you just keep in mind the what exactly mean by the regular expression it is consists of what sequence of symbols and characters and operators which are expressing the string or the pattern means what regular expression used to describe the set of string or it used to describe the sequence of characters okay and you know the from the sequence of string there is a formation of regular language and that is the reason here we have mentioned regular expression is used to describe or represent the regular languages because regular language consists of all different kind of sequence of string characters characters are formed from the specified alphabet symbols etc etc okay now let's see in details what exactly uh, meaning of all these things now uh, if you see here you can see what is the string and what is the languages now in that you can see strings are formed from the sequence of characters or the alphabets now what is the alphabet alphabet can be any finite set of symbols now what are the symbols symbols can be a letters digit punctuation marks etc etc okay so set of this alphabet can be represented by this sign okay now as a set this sign indicate the set of some particular uh, what we can say set of uh, letter set of digits set of punctuation symbol like this okay now the here example i have mentioned 0 comma 1 it is the binary alphabets sequence of or set of binary alphabet or set of digits now what is string here already i have mentioned it is a sequence of symbols over the alphabet now what is alphabet that here i have mentioned by combining this alphabet whatever the thing which is being forming that is called as a string okay now the term sentence and words are being also referred as a string also okay for the word for the term sentence or for the term word we can also utilize the term string okay means when we when i will say the string you have to take the meaning of it as a sentence or the word also okay now empty string is uh, you know the what is mean by the empty string is nothing but a string with the length zero and this empty string is represented by this sign epsilon okay now if you want to show the length of the string for example length of the string s can be represented like this and if i say we have the string banana as a string and length of this string you can easily see here can be represented by the symbol this equal to 6 okay so here we have just discussing the uh, as we have discussed what is the regular language regular language is sequence of string sequence of string is nothing but the sequence of characters characters are formed from the alphabet so we are just uh, discussing the meaning of each particular term here what is mean by the alphabet string etc etc okay now what do we mean by the language as already we have discussed it is nothing but the uh, sequence of string formed from the different uh, sequence of characters or the alphabet so here language can be described like this l is equal to uh, sequence of alphabet from a to z or it can be so this can be described in this way l is equal to sequence of uh, characters from uh, a to z or it can be described like this a b c b f or combining of the characters like this okay now uh, what can be the different operation that usually perform on the regular expression okay now whatever the things previously we have discussed that are being part of our uh, regular expression and why we are utilizing the regular expression to describe the regular languages now in particular lexical analysis why we are utilizing the regular expression that in the next slide we will see before that we have to just see what are the different operation that get performed on the regular expression so mainly first operation that get perform the regular expression is nothing but the union which is nothing but what set of letters and the digit for example if a and b are the two sets then 
as a part of the union operation it can be described like this a union b another operation get performed the regular expression is what concatenation okay so concatenation can be represented like this if there are the uh, uh, set of string of length 2 or more and if there are the two set a and b then it can be represented as a part of the concatenation operation like this a b okay then there is the exponential operation exponential operation for example here i have written a raised to 4 so which indicate what a is the set of all four letter string which indicate what a is what a is a string which is set of four letters clean closure operation which is being represented like this a raised to star now what a star indicate it is the set of all string or it is a set of all string including all letters including empty string also a star indicate what set of all string of letters including empty string also okay that is the meaning of a star then after the clean closure we have the positive closure which indicate a raised to plus is set of all string of one or more digits okay okay in the uh, uh, when you see the example of uh, operation that time will get clear here just you have to keep in mind a plus indicate what one or one or more letters or digit of that particular string a star indicates what zero or more letters and a plus one or more instances in short you can keep in mind a star is nothing but what zero or more instances of that particular string and a plus one one or more instances of that particular string for example here i have written the language like a in bracket a union b star now what is the meaning of this language so it is a set of all string of letters and digits what set of all string of letters and digit beginning with the letter it is what set of all string of letters and digit beginning with the letters okay in the example we will see more details for example let us see here example related to the operation now let a equal to now a is a one set a equal to the a uh, a is equal to the terminal symbols a b c and b is equal to the two digits one comma two now if you apply the concatenation operation here like this now we will get the set of concatenation of a and the b set like a1 a2 a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 so concatenation means what we are combining the characters from these two sets a or b c a union b means characters from this set like a b c and characters from this set 1 2 so here in this set we have the sequence of character as a letters here we have the characters as a digits okay now related to this set related to this set if i mention a raised to 3 exponential operation now what is the meaning of this now meaning of this what all string with the length 3 all string with the length 3 using the abc all the string with the length 3 using the abc means you can mention the string like this abc or cb a or bac so what is its meaning all the string which are forming with the help of these letters a comma b comma c with length up to the 3 that is the meaning of this exponential operation okay so whatever the uh, whatever the possible combination we can get uh, from these uh, three letters a b c okay that is the meaning of this exponential now a star now we have the a set as a a comma b comma c now what is meaning of a star a star meaning is what all string which can be formed using letters a b c and the empty string all the string which can be formed using the letters a comma b comma c and the empty string means what there can be a zero length string can be formed from this okay that is called as the empty string then abc string can be formed from this 
then VCA string can be formed from this. String only A can be formed, only string B can be formed, only string C can be formed, or combination of all these letters, whatever the string that can be formed, that is the meaning of A star. Means the string which can be formed using the letters A, B, C and the empty string. Means A star indicate what? The string with the zero length or string with the more than zero length. That is the meaning of A star. Similarly, A positive closure. Now, what is the meaning of these? Meaning of these same as a A star, only here empty string is not included. Okay. In positive closure, empty string is not included. Okay. Now, A raised to plus indicate the positive closure. What is its meaning now? Meaning of A, A star is what? All the string from length zero to the more than zero length string. A positive closure means what? All the string which can be formed from this set, all the string which can be formed from this set without the zero length string. Means positive closure doesn't include the empty string. Okay. Then next you can see, now these are the different kind of operation uh, which can be performed on the regular expression when the regular expression is used to describe the, what we can say, regular languages. Okay. Now here you can see we have described the regular expression as a notation used to represent the regular language and regular language is what? Set of string which are made up of the characters from specified alphabet or the symbols. And from this we can describe the regular expression as a sequence of symbol characters and the oper operators which are used to express the string or you can call the string as a statement or the word also. Okay. Now, uh, then we have seen what is alphabet, string, language, different operation that can be performed on that. Uh, examples related with the operation with example we have seen. Now question uh, comes here. Why we need to utilize the regular expression? What is the need of regular? Now, up till this, we have seen the general discussion regarding what is the regular expression. Now we have to see what is the role of this regular expression in the lexical analysis? Why we need to utilize the regular expression? So uh, before that, let us let us see here the example, uh, detailed example of regular expression. Okay. Now, what if, if I ask you, what is the regular expression to describe the identifier or the variable? Now, regular expression for the identifier or the variable can be described with the help of the regular definition. Now, what do you mean by the regular definition? Regular definition is nothing but the some name given to the sequence of characters. That is the meaning of regular defini uh, definition. Okay. So, you know, to express the, uh, you know, to write the regular expression for some languages, we have to uh, take the help of the regular definition. Okay. Now, what is the regular definition? It is name given to some sequence of character. For example, regular definition for letter is this A or B or up to the Z capital characters or A or B or up to the Z small characters. So this is the regular definition for letter. In the similar way, you can write the regular definition for digit like this. Digit are uh, from the zero to nine. Okay. So this is nothing but the two regular definition. First regular definition for letter, second regular definition for digit. Now, <laughs> here, here we have just given the name to the sequence of characters. Okay, that is the reason I here I have said regular definition is nothing but what? It is simply the name given to the sequence of characters. Now, by using these two regular expression, by using these two regular expression, we can, uh, sorry, by using these two regular definition, we can write the regular expression for the identifier or for the variable. Identifier, now we'll take the example of C language. Now, in case of the C language, how you can describe the identifier or the variable? You can describe of the identifier or the variable only with some rule. Now, what is the rule? Rule is what your identifier or variable must start with the letter. And after the letter, there can be a multiple number of letters or the digit. It means what you cannot start your variable or the identifier with the digit. Okay, that is the standard rule. So, by with the help of so how that standard rules can be described. 
now you know in mean in words you know the rule what is the rule the variable or identifier should start with the letters and after the letters it can be followed by the letter or digit now how this thing can be described can be represented okay that is the question now you know to describe these things we have to take the help of regular expression what we have to take the help we have to take the help of the regular expression so now the point that i just mentioned that uh, variable in case of the c is nothing but the letter followed by the letter and the digit now this thing can be expressed using the regular expression like this here as i said variable or the identifier is described like this letter followed by the letter or digits and you can see this bracket to this bracket we have mentioned here the clean closure that is the star now what is the meaning of this particular whole regular expression now from this whole regular expression you can get the language you can you can simplify this regular expression like this letter letter can be a anything up to the a to z it can be a small character it can be a capital it can be a small case character it can be a capital case you know in case of while you are declaring the variable you can use the small case or the capital case so letter letter can be this okay then letter that can be followed by so for this letter you can see this part then letter can be followed by the letter or digit now for this letter you can check out this part and digit this part means what first first instance should be the letter okay when we are when we are writing when we are declaring the variable the first character should be what letter and after the letter there can be a multiple letters or other digits also so that is the meaning of this clean closure letter followed by zero or more number of letters or the digit means you can declare the variable like this a b c now this where now this variable is being written by following this rule what is the rule letter can be followed by letter or digit means this first what is the first letter a now this a is followed by what another letter b that is the reason here we have mentioned letter followed by the letter and again this b is followed by another letter that is the c means what first thing first when you are declaring the variable first character should be the letter after that letter there can be a multiple letter or the digits means what it is this part is optional you can simply declare the variable like this a also only with the single letter or you can declare the variable like multiple letters also a b c d or you can declare the variable like a b c d 1 so this rule now we can see this variable declare variable declaration that you have done it is according to this rule how see letter followed by the letter a b c d these are all the letters letter followed by letter means first letter followed by the multiple number of letters b c d and it is also followed by the digit okay so this second part of this regular expression is optional understood and that is the reason it is being mentioned with the clean closure what the variable or the identifier can be declared as what it should start with the letter okay and after that letter there can be a zero letters or there can be a multiple letters or there can be a more than zero letters or there can be a more than zero digits that is the meaning of this rule that you have described okay now here you can see c language rules to declare the variable that you know in words now you know to describe these rules with the help of some standard you know to describe this rule using some standard way there is a utilization of regular expression okay and that is the reason here we have written the regular expression for identifier like this okay so answer to the question why to use the regular expression the answer to this question is what regular expression are used to describe the rules rules for what rules for the different tokens what rules for the different tokens because you know letter is what it is a uh, identifier is what identifier is the token now you know to describe the token what we are utilizing we are utilizing the regular expression so what is the need of the regular expression 
in lexical analysis the need of the regular expression in lexical analysis is what to describe the tokens or to describe the pattern for tokens now in order to understand this in better way let me tell you now when you compile some source program okay the first scenario as a you have written some source program here user written some source program now in order to compile when you compile the user compile this source program okay user get some messages like errors or compilation successful like this kind of things okay so here you have utilized the language translator as a compiler okay and you compile your program now you know language translator as a compiler is one of the system program okay now before you utilize this system program as a software system software to compile your any higher level language program these system softwares are developed this system software are program by some system programmer okay so this is the design just as example so this is the designing of what this is the designing of your language translator as a compiler okay now what steps has to be follow while the designing of compiler is taking place what i am telling you what steps has to be follow when when the designing of compiler has to be done so there are the two important steps has to be follow while designing of the compiler okay what what we are talking about we are talking about the designing of the compiler or developing the compiler software we are talking about that now what two steps has to be follow while designing of the compiler for example consider you are a system programmer and you are designing the uh, compiler for your c language okay now what two thing has to be follow first thing is what representation of pattern for token by regular expression this is the first thing you have this is the first thing that system programmer has to be note down or that system programmer has to follow what is the first thing this describing or representation of pattern of pattern for token by regular expression that is the first thing and second thing describing or representation of your regular expression by finite automata okay so when the system programmer designing and developing your language translator as a compiler he has to follow these two important steps now there is a third step also that is nothing but simulation of finite automata now you don't uh, worry about these things uh, third step here you just focus on the two steps okay first step is what representation of pattern for the token by regular expression and second thing is representation of regular expression by the finite automata okay now that system system programmer has to utilize or he has to take the help of what regular expression while he is describing the token or while he is describing pattern for the tokens means what that system of programmer has to utilize the regular expression to describe the token means what describe the token means what how the how the particular programmer should write the identifier in their source program means what uh, there is a standard rule of writing the identifier or declaring the variable in source program what is that rule your identifier or the variable should start with the letter after the first letter there can be a multiple letters or there can be a digit also okay can you can you start your identifier or the variable with the digit like 1 2 3 abc can you write the variable like this no means what there is this is the standard rule that system that this is the standard rule that particular programmer uh, who is writing the source program he has to follow while he is writing for example c program now when you compile these things these things get checked and if you have declared the variable by starting with the letter by sorry by starting with the digit 1 2 3 instantly you get the error here that this is not the proper declaration of variable now how this error you will get here this error you will get because the compiler check your program what the compiler check compiler check your program against the standard rules standard rules of writing the variable now what is the standard rule for writing the variable standard rule is what your variable should start with the letters and after that there can be a zero letters or the zero digit after the first letter or okay or after the first letter there can be a more than 
one letter row there can be a more than one digit now these rules when these rules are being written now these rules are being mentioned when the designing of the compiler is taking place okay and who is describing these rules these rules are described by the system programmer when the system programmer is designing your compiler for the c language okay like these rules of describing the variables the system programmer has to describe the rules for all the features of that particular c language means what in the c language how the how the particular uh, c programmer should write the keywords how the particular uh, programmer c programmer should write the function name how the particular c programmer should declare the variables now regarding these all the rules are mentioned when designing of the c compiler is taking place and when you compile your c program you are all whatever the source program that you have written that your source program is get checked against the rules which is being mentioned when the designing of compiler is taking place and in this source program if you don't write the different things like if you don't write the variable by following the rules of writing the variables in c language automatically you will get the errors if you write in this source program keyword spelling incorrectly instead of writing the spelling of printf like this p r i n t f if you write the spelling of printf like this p i r you get the errors because all the things related with the keywords there are the 32 keywords in the c language this all the keywords are being mentioned while the designing of compiler is taking place with the correct spelling and if you write the incorrect spelling when you are writing the c source program any source c source program you are writing for example you are writing the c source program for addition of two numbers and in that if you write the spelling of printf like p r i n t f automatically you will get the error because compiler check whether you have written the spelling of that keywords correctly or not and compiler does what compiler just do the matching matching of what the matching of things which is being already mentioned when the designing of compiler is taking place when the designing of compiler is done as while designing the compiler the spelling of the printf keyword is mentioned like this p r i n t f and when the user while writing the c source program write the spelling of printf p r i n t f automatically the error will get because this thing and these things are not getting match understood so in order to express in order to express all the things when the now two scenario i am telling you here this is the user scenario when user writing the program and checking the program or compiling the program using the compiler and this is the second thing uh, this is already this is the second thing when when the designing of compiler is taking place okay this when who is developing and designing the compiler system program so when the language get developed automatically that time the uh, compiler compiler related with that particular language also need to be designed and the develop so we are concerned this as just a example of c compiler okay now in order to specify all the rules when when the designing of compiler is taking place rules like how you should write the variables how you should write the keywords how should write the name of the function now during the designing of compiler these rules are already being mentioned and when the user compile the program using the compiler only the matching of these rules with the user c program is done if the c programmer while writing the c program has follow all the rules then the user will not get any errors but if that user who is writing the c program not follow the rules which are being mentioned while the designing of c compiler is taking place then automatically the that user will get the errors now point here is what in order to mention these rules while the designing of compiler is taking place in order to mention these rules there is a need of utilization of some standard notation and what is that standard notation that standard notation is nothing but the regular expression okay so as i said here while designing of the compiler two important steps has to be follow first step is what representation of tokens or pattern for the token by regular expression and second thing is what representation of regular expression by the 
finite atom. Okay, so that is the reason here we have the need of the regular expression for what? For writing the rules or for writing the pattern for the different tokens or for representing or for specifying the tokens related with the particular language, we have to take the help of what regular expression. Okay, now let's uh, see with the example. Uh, for example, now you can see here, you can see here, now we have to write the regular expression for the identifier. Now identifier is what? Identifier is one of the token. Now we can see we have the different tokens related with the particular language like tokens, identifier is one token, then keywords are also the tokens, operators are the tokens, constants are the tokens, etc. Now here we are just taking the example of how to write the regular expression for the token identifier means what how as i said when the system programmer is designing the compiler he has to take the help of what regular expression to describe the different feature of that c language means he has to take the help of regular expression to describe the tokens for example consider here token as an identifier now how that system programmer will describe the token as an identifier with the help of the regular expression now in this way you can see here so system programmer use the regular expression to describe the token and how we can how he can describe the token identifier like this letter followed by the letter or digits and it can be written like this okay so this is the role of regular expression while designing of the compiler and in that while designing the first phase of compiler that is the lexical analysis okay so in this way we can use the regular expression to describe the tokens or pattern for the token so this is nothing but the representation of now first step i told you representation of pattern for the token by regular expression so this is the first step representation of pattern for the token by regular expression now regular expression here is what what is the definition of regular expression we have seen it is nothing but what sequence of uh, it is a set of string characters or operators so this is nothing but the sequence of string characters and the operators to express the token now what token you have described or express here identify okay so you have to describe the tokens or pattern for the tokens pattern for the tokens in the sense rule for the token now what is the rule for the token identifier like this it should be followed by the it should be start with the letter and then letter can be followed by the letter or digit now this is our first step what is the first step representation of pattern for the token by regular expression or representation of token by the regular expression now second step is what representation of regular expression by the finite automata second step is what representation of regular expression by finite automata now this is our regular expression so this is the first step representation of uh, token by the regular expression first step second step representation of this regular expression by finite automata and finite automata you can see here representation of this regular expression by finite automata is like this where you can see finite automata now before we see the second step you have to understand what exactly mean by the finite automata and why we need to utilize the finite automata. Okay, first step, I hope you have got the first step. This first step you have understood representation of pattern for the token by regular expression. Okay, while the designing of compiler is taking place, why we need the regular expression to describe the tokens. Now, second step is representation of regular expression by the finite automata. Now, in order to understand this, first you need to understand what do we mean by the finite automata? Okay, let's see here. What do we mean by the finite automata? And what is the role of finite automata in the lexical analysis? Now, another name for the finite automata is transition diagram also. Okay, in theory of computation, you must have studied. Another name for the finite automata is what? Transition diagram also. Okay, now we already studied what is the language. Now we know the language is nothing but the collection of string string is collection of characters alphabets etc etc and to describe this language we use the regular expression which is nothing but the sequence of characters operation uh, different kind of operators 
and the uh, sequence of string etc et so that is we are referring at as a regular expression now language now language can be a finite language or language can be a infinite language now what do you mean by the finite language what do you mean by the infinite language okay now consider there is a string set of string and in that string there is the two characters a comma b okay now by using this particular uh, set of string if i said language l1 generate the language l1 the language containing the length of the string as a 2 using this set of string generate the language which is containing the length of the string as a 2 now for this language we can then have the length of the string 2 we have the different combination like aa ab ba and the bb so this can be the possible uh, string we can have uh, with the length of the string as a 2 as a language l1 okay and suppose there is a language l2 which is nothing but language containing at least one a from this from this uh, set of alphabets we have the another language what language containing the at least one a now so possible combination for this can be a language containing at least one a can be a simple this one a there can be a aa there can be a triple a like this so there can be a multiple combination we can have using this set of alphabets because using this set of alphabets we can have the multiple combination of the language containing at least one a so there can be a infinite number of combination we can have where there is a presence of at least one a now i am calling this as a finite language but we cannot call this language as a finite language why because there can be a infinite number of combination we can have what we can have the infinite number of combination of language containing at least one a that is the reason we are calling this language as a infinite language but related with this language containing the length of string 2 only four combination we can have okay you can check it out none other than four combination we can have here only four combination we have like a a a b b a b b so there is a finite combinations are there that is the reason we are calling this language as a finite language but here we are having infinite combination of language containing at least one a okay because there can be a multiple combination uh, where the string containing the at least one a we can also have the string like this a b b b understood okay this is also containing the single a so there can be a infinite number of combination where language containing at least one a that is the reason here i am calling this language as a infinite language and this language as a finite language okay so here you must have clear the what is the meaning of finite language and the what is the meaning of infinite language here we have taken the example as a, a set of alphabet a and b and from that we are trying to form the language l1 and l2 where if you try to form the language containing the length of the string 2 then we getting the inf we are, when we are getting the finite language but from this set of alphabet if you try to form the language containing at least one a then we are getting the infinite language okay now next thing now next i want to ask for example i want to ask you the question uh, now we want to check whether this string s whether this string s now s is equal to a b b a now we want to check whether this string s equal to a b b a is a part of the language or not now we have got the two language l1 and we have got the another language l2 now what question i am asking we have to check whether this string s is equal to a b b a is a part of this language l1 or whether it is a part of this language l2 or not now if you try to check a b b a whether this string is part of this language l1 or not now you can easily see is there any presence of a b b a here no 
Now A B B A is the having length of four, but L one is only having the length of string two. Means here we can easily uh, we can easily give the answer that this particular string S is equal to A B B A is not part of the language L one. Okay. Now check whether this string S is equal to A B B A is part of this language L two or not. Now, can you tell me the answer of this? Whether this string a b b a is part of this language L two or not? Now, related with this possible combination which we have written here, some limited only the some limited combination we have written. There can be a multiple combination. For this reason, I have mentioned here the dot dot. Okay. Now, how you can check this s is equal to a b b a is part of this language L two or not? now to give the answer to this question is very difficult because there is a infinite number of combination can be formed but here only the finite combination are forming that's why you can easily tell here the answer no s is equal to abb is not part of this language l1 but in case of this it is very difficult to tell whether this string abb a is a part of this language l2 or not now how how we can get the solution for this to check whether this string a b b a is part of this language or not now solution we can have for this solution can be what we have to we have to generate all the possible combination possible combination of string with at least one a okay what we have to do we have to generate all the possible combination of string which is containing at least one a and we have to store that string of that language in memory locations we have to store that string in the memory okay but and then after storing this uh, possible combination in the memory then it can be checked one by one but in case of finite language if you store this a a a b b a b b in the memory and then we check this string against whatever thing we have stored in the memory then you can easily check and within a less time we can get the answer here answer that this string is not part of this language l1 but if you try to store this all possible combination of string in the memory in case of the infinite language then it is not possible because memory is limited and that is the reason in case of the infinite language string cannot be stored inside the memory what i am telling you in case of the infinite language all the possible combination of certain string with at least one a cannot be stored in the memory here i am just telling you the example so then how we can get the solution then as you cannot store these all the possible combination of infinite languages in the memory how you will get the solution how you can check whether this string is part of this language or not whether this string s equal to a b b a is part of this language l2 or not now to solve this problem the one particular model is being mentioned in the computer science okay to solve this problem one one particular model is mentioned in the computer science and that model is called as what the automata that model is called as what the automata okay so automata is used to check whether the given string is a part of language or not so here simplified form of automata i have written finite automata now there is a different types of the automata you must be knowing so what is now instead of storing all these things in the memory now memory is limited so we cannot store the all the possible combination which can be generated related to the infinite language in the memory it is not possible so for that purpose in the computer science one model is being developed and designed that is called as a automata so automata does what automata will check whether particular string automata will do what check whether particular string is part of certain language or not if this particular string is part of this language then answer will be written by the finite automata as a s if this string is not part of this language then finite automata will return the answer as a no okay now when you get the answer as a s and when you get the answer as a no if this string is part of this language the finite automata will return the answer as s if this string is not part of the language finite automata will give you and give you the answer as a no so 
that is the reason the automata has to be utilized in the computer science to check whether the particular string is part of the certain language or not okay now in case of the lexical analysis how it is helping us how the finite automata is helping us now in case of the designing of the compiler and in that first phase designing the first phase of compiler i told you we have to follow the two step first step is what representation of regular expression representation of token now in case of the any language there can be a different tokens like token can be identifier uh, keywords operator etc here we are just taking the example of token as a identifier first step was what representation of token by the regular expression this is our first step so here we have utilized the regular expression as you can see the definition of regular expression already a number of times we have discussed the definition of regular expression as you can see here sequence of symbols and characters or the operators that are expressing some string or that are used to describe some string or pattern or that are used to describe some string or pattern or token for the or the pattern for the tokens okay rule for the tokens or simply you can keep in mind regular uh, regular expression as a sequence of symbol uh, and characters or the operator to express the tokens okay now here you can see in this example we have completed our first step that is what representation of first step we have completed representation of pattern for the token or representation or describing the token by using the regular expression here we have described so it this is you can see easily it is the uh, sequence of characters operators or possible symbols that is the regular expression so regular expression is nothing but as i would discuss it is the combination of different kind of uh, characters symbols letters digits and some operation on that now what are the operation we apply here we applied the clean closure operation here okay so likewise different operations are utilized when you are utilizing the regular expression to describe the tokens okay as in the in the uh, initial part we have said the regular expression is to describe the language regular language now language consists of the different kind of uh, strings the language consists of different kind of uh, sequence of characters and you know the sequence of characters forming the tokens so that is the reason here i am saying we are using the regular expression regular regular expression to describe the tokens so first step we have utilized here to describe the regular uh, to describe the token by the regular expression second step is what describing the regular expression by finite automata that was our second step now here we have described the this regular expression by the finite automata now you know in the finite automata we have the starting state then on each state we apply some in input then we go to the next step until we reach to the final state okay now our regular expression is what letter followed by the letter or digit now for example now how the finite automata play their role in the lexical analysis here for example this is our variable abc now this variable abc whether it is a valid token or not how it will be get checked with the help of the finite automata so let's see how it will get checked now a is what letter so on the zero state yes it is satisfying a is a letter after a there is what b b is also letter so after on the first input after on the first input we go to the next state that is the one now after the a there is a b now b is a letter yes b is a letter now after the b there is a c yes c is also the letter okay now after the c what is there there is a semicolon now that semicolon is also called as a delimiter so after the c there is a delimiter okay this is being mentioned here delimiter and with this delimiter we reach to the final state okay now you can see for this regular expression this finite automata we are having and in this finite automata we are reaching to the final state and if for certain regular expression if you try to represent that regular expression using the finite automata and you are reaching to the final state it means that this is the valid token it means what this abc is matching with the pattern 
it means what this abc is matching with the pattern which pattern this pattern of declaring the variable and what is the rule over the pattern the for the variable it should be start with the letter and later can be followed by the letter or digits so this finite automata you can easily see we are reaching to the final state for this variable abc which indicates our variable declare is correct and when you try to compile this program uh, where in that program you have the statement like this you will not get any error you will not get any lexical error but if you try to write that variable like this a followed by the dollar followed by the b and the semicolon now regarding this when it will be get check by the compiler and in that compiler first phase of compile that is the lexical analyzer you will get the error why because what is the rule of describing the token as identifier rule is what it should be start with the letter yes it is started with the letter after the letter there cannot be there cannot be any letter or there cannot be any digit but after the letter if you want to write the more letter you can write but you can see in this case after the a letter there is a symbol dollar which is not allowed now so if you try to represent this thing if you try to represent this a dollar if you try to check this against the finite automata finite automata which you have already generated for this regular expression now what is the first character a so a is a letter yes it is satisfying then you go to the next state one after the a what is their dollar now where what is the what, what is this dollar is dollar is the letter no is dollar is the digit no then your finite automata will fail here means your input that you are trying to check using the compiler and in that first phase of compiler that is a lexical analyzer will fail here and compiler will give you the error compiler will give you the error so in this way you can see how the regular expression playing their role in the lexical analysis so here regular expression playing their role and here finite automata is playing their role okay so that is the reason here we have mentioned while designing of the compiler two steps has to be follow and while designing the first phase of compilers two steps has to be follow first step is what representation of pattern for the token by regular expression and second step representation of regular expression by the finite automata so when you when the designing of compiler is taking place all these things all these rules are mentioned here or uh, for the or uh, every token regular expression are mentioned for every regular expression finite automata are being mentioned and when the user write the program and user check the program compile the program if the user program is according to the rules which are being mentioned with the help of these steps while designing your compiler if user mention all the things according to these rules then he will got not he will not get any error okay but if the user write the source program not following these rules then definitely user get the errors okay so in this way you can see how the role being played by the regular expression and how the role being played by the finite automata okay so uh, now in this way uh, you can see role of regular expression and the finite automata in the lexical analysis and again uh, we can just uh, recap what exactly the lexical analysis so it is nothing but the scanning scanning is nothing but the reading your source program character by character here i have mentioned it is the phase of compilation in which the source code is scan source code is scan and source code is source program is broken into the group of string that each group of string is considered as other consider consider as what tokens okay lexical analyzer will check whether this broken group of string that you have mentioned in your source program whatever the content of your source program whether that content of your source program is forming the token or not that is checked by the 
lexical analyzer with the help of the regular expression and with the help of the finite automata that already being mentioned when the compile when the designing of the compile is taking place so that is the reason here you can see the uh, lexical analysis is nothing but what it is doing the act of scanning where here i have mentioned it is a phase of compilation in which the complete source code is scanned and source program is a broken down into the group of string where each group of string is nothing but the called as a tokens okay and whether this group of string is forming the tokens or not that is the, that is being checked by whom lexical analysis now we now to check whether this group of string are forming the tokens or not the help of the regular expression and the finite automata is takes place that already i told you now token is what sequence of character having the collective meaning or it is also considered as a class or category of particular lexeme what is the class or category of particular lexeme it can be identifier it can be a, a keyword it can be a operator etc et so sim simple example we have taken here total equal to total equal to count you can see total equal to count plus rate okay now regarding this how the lexical analyzer will play their part okay how the lexical analyzer will play their part you can see now what is the ex what is the statement is written statement is what total equal to count plus rate okay total equal to count plus rate now how the lexical analyzer will process this particular sentence or string or uh, you can see the uh, you can call it as a string or the sentence it doesn't matter expression now lexical analysis will broken down this statement into the different pieces as i mentioned here what the lexical analyzer do it read it it read the source program here we i have just taken the one single expression or single statement of your source program that is what total equal to count plus rate now what the lexical analyzer will do with this lexical analyzer will broken down this into the series of tokens the lexical analyzer will do what it will broken down this into the different set of pieces like total is a one piece operator is a one piece count is a one piece operator is a another operator is a one piece rate is a one piece and lexical analyzer will try to check whether total is a correct identifier or not whether this assignment whether this operator is a correct operator or not whether this count is the identifier or not whether this rate is identifier or not it is checked by whom lexical analyzer and when the lexical analyzer will check yes total is the correct identifier then it will declare the identifier token it will declare this identifier total as a valid token it will declare this identifier total as what valid token now in order to check whether total is a whether total is a valid identifier or not you can see i told you there is a role of finite automata so you are this total which is sequence of character will check against the finite automata as i tell as i told you so if you if you come now if you go to that example now we have to check whether total is a uh, valid identifier or not now total what we have to check total is the valid identifier or not against we have to check it using the finite automata so t is what first character yes it is coming coming under the letter yes o is a second yes it is also satisfying t is a third yes it is also satisfying a is a next it is also satisfying l is a next it is also satisfying so and after this we are reaching to the final stage so it is our finite automata is taking us to the final state for this particular sequence of character t o t a l it means it means what it means that it is the valid identifier and it means that if it is means the valid identifier what is the class or category what is if it is means it is a valid identifier it means it is the valid token because what is the class or category of identifier tokens 
so for each and everything which is part of your program lexical analyzer check okay and lexical analyzer check it with the rules which we have described when the designing of compiler is taking place and if this according to the rules then it will be declared by the lexical analyzer as a valid tokens but if you write the if you in your program instead of o if you write here the dollar now dollar is not the valid symbol so here lexical analyzer will give you the error understood that the way we have uh, uh, discuss it understood so in this way this kind of string can be scanned by the lexical analyzer and it is broken down into the different pieces and lexical analyzer will check we whether each of this piece is forming the token or not and how the lexical analyzer will check it with the help of the finite automata as i have told you similarly such kind of another string we can take new value equal to the old value plus 12 now for this expression different tokens generated by the lexical analyzer like new value is what identifier equal to is what assignment operator old value is what identifier plus is what is the operator 12 is what number so these are the different tokens identifier operators identifier operators number these are all the tokens and who is generating these tokens lexical analyzer who is generating these tokens lexical analyzer and you have to generate these lex uh, tokens lexical analyzer has to take the help of what lexical analyzer has to take the help of regular expression and regular and uh, lexical analyzer also has to take the help of finite automata why they have to take the help of this because in order to express these while designing the compiler you have to express the different tokens we have to utilize the regular expression and then this regular expression is converted into the finite automata and when user write the program and check and compile the program your program get check against the things against these things against your finite automata okay and if finite automata is satisfied reaching to the final state then you will got then you will not get any error if it is not satisfying then you will get the errors okay so that is that's it uh, from the role of uh, what you can say role of uh, regular expression and the finite automata in the lexical analysis okay so main role of the lexical analysis is nothing but the identification and generation of the tokens for the different things that you write in the source program okay and how the lexical analyzer is doing it lexical analyzer is doing it with the help of the finite automata so in the exam you might get the question explain the role of regular expression and the finite automata in the lexical analysis so to identify the tokens or to generate the tokens we have to utilize the regular expression and the finite automata so only with the help of the regular expression and the finite automata lexical analyzer can generate and recognize the tokens okay so that's it from this lecture uh, you can go through the once again and uh, uh, you can ask me the question if you have any doubt okay you should not get confused here uh, in one point now i told you the both the things here i told you how the lexical analyzer phase is get designed while the designing of the compiler is taking place okay and also i tell i also i told you how your source program will get check when you compile the program with the help of the compiler okay so while the designing of the compiler we have to make the utilization of regular expression and the finite automata okay and in the similar way when you compiling your program your different things which you write in the program that will get check against the this regular expression and the finite automata and accordingly lexical analyzer will give the output as a tokens or if the token will not get generated definitely output you will get as a errors if successful lexical analysis will happen then you will get the output as a token just like this i told you in the figure here if the lexical analysis is successful the token will be get generated if not then the error will be get generated okay so go through this once again and uh, you can ask me the question in the comment section if you have any doubt okay thank you all of you